Hi everyone, I'm Gabby. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel if you're watching this video after my first one or thank you for clicking on this one to begin with. Um, I'm going to share just kind of like my wavy hair routine going from kind of looking like a little bit of a grub with some castor oil in my hair, starting off with a castor oil scalp treatment, um, which I sat with for about like two and a half hours. Um, and then to sitting down, doing a little bit of a chit chat, kind of like get ready with me, sort of. It's about at about 7 p.m. at night, you know, no biggie. Um, but yeah, just to show you my like everyday, super easy, breezy, beautiful cover squirrel, lazy makeup, and um, my natural hair using a diffuser and not air dried, which is kind of the other way that I do my hair on a regular basis is letting it air dry if I can. It'd be my best bet. Also, diffusing it I definitely feel like helps with the frizz um, long term. But um, if any of this sounds interesting to you, watching me do something with this teal mop and, um, you know, watching me do this very glowy, easy breezy makeup with, like, no real face makeup, just concealer and powder with, like, a little bit of sunscreen. Um, but, yeah, I need to do my eyebrows, so ignore the kind of nasties. But, um, but yeah, uh, there's a shadow on my face from my phone, and my septum ring is twisted sideways, so, you know. The whole intro, it's been like that, and I apologize. But anyway, stay tuned now that I've rambled for about two minutes. And, um, yeah, watch me become this. Bye! As you can see, I'm taking my hair out of its bun. Um, I did a castor oil scalp treatment that has been on for about two and a half hours, so I'm just doing some further detangling here. I will be doing a double shampoo, which I do about once a month. Um, so I will shampoo my hair like regular, rinse it out, and then I will put some of my conditioner just in the ends of my hair, do another shampoo um, just to protect my ends so they don't get extra stripped. Um, I use the Love Beauty Planet uh, shampoo and conditioner, and then I will follow up with the blue overtone. Fresh out of the shower, my hair is sopping wet. I do find that this works best for me. I'm using the Not Your Mother's All-in-One. It's kind of like the It's a 10, but different. Um, it does all the same stuff. Um, so I'm putting that through my hair, really kind of scrunching it in there. I do flip my head upside down and scrunch it. Also, I find that scrunching at every step just helps form my like wave pattern the best and helps with longevity. Um, maybe it's all in my head, but I do feel like it works better. Next, I'm using the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curling Curl cream. Um, I use a hefty amount, I'm not going to lie, and a lot of my super blue stain bottle. Um, so I will kind of do like a raking, smoothing, scrunching motion here um, just to get that product worked through my hair. And then my absolute favorite gel is this Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Like, it is so good, which you will see coming up next um, after I do all of the scrunching. But, like, seriously, this product is so good. I don't think I could say enough good things about this gel. It has truly changed my hair game as far as, like, hold and longevity and frizz. Okay, so the only thing you've missed was me putting about two globs of Kinky Curly into my hair. By globs, I mean, like, quarter size globs about. Um, and just kind of, like raking, smoothing, then scrunching that in. I parted my hair down the middle. I scrunched it, like, just so the excess moisture out and product of, like, anything that was going to scoosh onto this, just, like, the outside. I'm going to wrap and plop my hair on the inside of this for about 20 minutes and then use my trusty, dusty, crusty, old-ass con air. Um, like, the heat settings are rubbed off. And, um... So um, I am taking my hair out. I ended up leaving it in for close to an hour on accident. I normally leave it for about 20 minutes or so. I do the pixie diffusing method, which is where I like keep the blow dryer off. I put my hair in the bowl, kind of move it up towards my roots, and then turn it on for about 15 or 20 seconds, turn it off, and bring the hair back down. Um, and I flip my head all around and do that over and over and over again. I do find that it does help that I part my hair beforehand to kind of keep that part line in. Hello, party people. So, I feel like, I think this is still on the top. Is that better? I don't know. Anyway, so, as you saw, my hair is, I call this my ramen noodle stage. It's very crunchy. 
very piecey. My hair is very piecey. It doesn't really clump that much. I get some pieces kind of like underneath that clump, but my hair has never been very clumpy. It's always kind of been that like piecey, piecey waviness. So it's about 80% dry, I would say. I'm going to put some sunglasses on. No, I'm going to do one of these skis. But I'm going to walk you through my little, oh god, my like kind of like super easy breezy, like. Oh gosh, something in my eye. Super easy breezy makeup tutorial situation. So that's just what we're gonna do. Golly gee willikers, how on earth did I already manage to get something in my eye? Okay, so I have a mirror right here. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> I'm adjusted so all I could see was literally my eyeballs. So all I have on my skin right now, I took a shower like, I don't even fucking know what time it is. I don't have my watch on today. So, about like an hour and a half to two hours ago. And after I put the stuff in my hair and plopped it, I put some Cetaphil. Just Cetaphil on my skin. And that is all I have on there. I don't normally moisturize in the morning. I don't normally wash my face in the morning. I only wash my face at night. And I know that that's like probably breaking the bajillion cardinal rules. But I'm telling you, it's something that really works for my skin. So, um... I'm going to start off with some sunscreen because uh, this is like my actual like super easy, very light makeup like I was wearing in my mukbang video. So I'm going to use this Bliss uh, Block Star sunscreen. This is like the little travel size thing. It was like 7 bucks. I think the full size is like 20 or 21 but I wanted to try it. I freaking love it. So I 100% will buy the full one. But this has lasted me like quite some time. So I like that it's tinted. Um, it's not like a moisturizer as well, which like is fine. That's fine. I have, like I said, put moisturizer on underneath it. Um, but I do have a sunscreen that I do really like um, that I probably have to reach for. I know it's behind me. Um, but I like put this everywhere. I, it doesn't, I like put it literally under my eyes, on my eyelids. Um, down my neck, but it's like ever so slightly tinted. It's almost like putting like a filter on your face, and I just kind of, I just kind of like it. I like it a lot. It's great on its own. It's great under makeup. Like actually, I don't wear foundation. <laughs> the like makeup that I wear is a tinted moisturizer, um, that has an additional SPF. If I'm wearing like actual face makeup, that's not just like some concealer. Like I'll be putting on today. Um, normally. I would get up and wash my hands, but I'm not going to do that. Let me show you. Please hold. So, this is the Hawaiian Tropic um, Weightless Face Sunscreen. This is a moisturizer. I believe so. Yeah, I think it's a facial moisturizer. At least that's what I've been using it as. It says 12-hour moisturization. So, but that's what, like... I'll wear this if I'm going to the pool. I'll wear this if I'm not wearing makeup. I'll wear this under makeup. Um, it's great, but, like, if I'm going to be, like, getting wet and I'm, like, what's the point of wearing something that's tinted, you know? Uh, while I, like, let this sit on my face, I normally just grab out, like, my few things. Um, I have a preferred face powder that's not this one, but I'm out of it and I need to go get some more. I've just been a lazy bum and have yet to do it. Also, I'm doing, like, the lazy way. I have a spray bottle. The dog is mostly spray bottle trained. The cats are like, eh. But when they're doing something wild, I spritz them. I'm using Real Techniques sponge. I swear it's clean. It's just stained. Um, I'm literally spraying water into the sponge. So I'm just using it for concealer under my eyes and in the center of my face. So I'm not gonna like, I'm not bothered enough to care, honestly. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing that, and I am my little my little makeup bag situation. It's got a like insert. It's got a little pouch and brush holder and stuff. My brushes aren't in that though. Um, I got this on Amazon. I really freaking like it. I'll see if I can still find it, and I will put a link below. Um, if anybody actually cares, but I love this thing. I love this little makeup situation. I put the stuff I wear every single day in it. I have like a makeup case that has some like. Honestly, foundation that probably needs to get thrown away because I don't even know the last time I wore foundation. Um, like, actual foundation that wasn't tinted moisturizer. <sighs> so, yeah. But, um, I did not get everything out. What am I doing? 
Let me get my shit together. I'm just setting it. This is, I'm sitting on the floor um, at my coffee table, so. Yeah, too much happening in here. Um, I take everything out, and one of the most satisfying things is when I'm, like, done with stuff, I put it back. I don't know why. Like, that's so trivial, but, like, I love it. Um, I also need to pluck my eyebrows so they're not perfect. I do them, and I tint them with... Some just for men. Um, mustache dye. I use like a pea sized amount of each tube and mix them together. And I've had these for like at least six months. I buy like new tubes each, every like once a year or so. And um, yeah, my eyebrows have not fallen off or anything like that. But next, I'm going to use this e.l.f. There's like a glare, so I don't know if I can make it not not do that because of the sun but it's this uh, elf flawless brightening concealer um, it's got like a brush fluctuation oh gosh there's a lot coming out um and yeah I just hit my eyelids the inner corner click it some more um, the outer corner and just kind of like swipe it up and then I usually hit my nose my forehead my chin and if I have anything that I feel like could use some coverage I'll like just hit it but I don't currently I don't have any active breakouts like I've got some this is going away and some scarring but I don't really have any active things at the moment um and yeah so I'm just gonna blend that out and then immediately follow it with this Wet n Wild Translucent Photo Focus Powder. The e.l.f. Halo Glow is my preferred setting powder. Um, I just don't have any, and then, like I said, I need to get my butt out and get some. But I literally, there's always some in the lid. I just um, put it all over my face, like my whole face. I don't use like a heck ton. Um, and then I just kind of like tap back in and tap it off and swirl. This is another Real Techniques brush um I have some OG Sigma brushes that's one of the ones that I'll use next oh I'm also going to put on um I have this like my mom gave it to me I think in my Christmas stocking it's this Mary Kay satin lips like lip balm it's thickums like goo it's very thick um uh, that's okay like it feels good um so yeah uh I use this or aquaphor um or my preferred lip situations but I'm done with this powder brush next I'm going to take clear brow gel which is again elf um I've used the all of the like brow sides this is the mascara side but I'm going to brush these bad boys upwards and then I'm going to let that dry as I do some other stuff. I always do a little bit of like bronzer contour just like around my face to give my face some shape. But it's very light, very easy. I have this Anastasia contour kit. I literally just like mix these together on the bottom, heavy on the little bit of like cooler tones. Like I said, I'm not really contouring. I'm kind of like brontouring, bron bronze touring. Um, I like pull my little hairsies back. Hit my forehead, you know, all good stuff. Um, just like the perimeter of my face. I always like am very pale right here on this spot on my ear. So I always make sure that I hit it because it just doesn't match my skin tone. Um, I hit my neck just to make sure that things are blendy pooing. Um, and I like bronze pretty high up on my cheekbones. It's actually something that like uh I did kind of on a whim following one of those like face contour things they told me to contour like very high up and uh yeah so I just do kind of like big big sweepy fanny motions um and yeah my skin's like my cheeks my skin my face is pretty red naturally um I don't think it's rosacea I truly don't know it feels like extra goopy so yeah but um, and then I hit my nose and I dust this baby up, I'm not going to lie. So, now we're looking, we're looking mildly bronzed, mildly shaped, not anything crazy. 
closing her up. Oh, this is a Sigma Sigma F50 Joe Fiber brush from back in the day, y'all. Um, and yeah, I'm not a blush baby because my cheeks are flushed all the time, so I don't normally use that. But if I do, I have this one pixie blush. And I know they're not cruelty free, I don't think, but it was like free. I got it free for something or other. But um, it's a very like bronzy peach color. And so if I'm wearing foundation, sometimes I will do that, especially like in the wintertime if I'm like extra pasty. Um, yeah, so next I'm going to use this elf, surprise, surprise, uh, no bud shadow stick in perfect pearl. And this is broken, like it'll fall out of the tube. But I uh, put it in the inner corner of my eye pretty intensely because. I love highlight. My goal is Tin Man, and if you don't like that, that's great, but I do. So, um, I just put, like, a little bit on my nose and, like, bebop it out, you know? Um, mm, if I'm feeling real fancy on my lip, but currently my lip is greasy and anyway. So, it's shiny already. Um, so I do that, and then I take, oh, again, Elf Moonlight Pearls. I don't know, like, all of this, I don't, it just happens to be Elf. I used to be like obsessed with makeup, like drawers and drawers and drawers of high-end makeup, like drugstore all over the world crap, but I've just like found some stuff that I like really like and cruelty-free is pretty important to me. That's like what I aim for. Um, so yeah, so I'm just hitting, I literally swirl my Real Techniques face, contour brush, fuck that, it's not a contour brush. I swirl it on my inner corners, Hit my chin, my nose, between my eyebrows, swoopy boopy on the cheekbones, all over and under my eyelid. If you're like, highlight emphasizes your pores, that's fine. Look at them. Look at them. Shine. Um, okay, that's a little. I'm looking a little crimson chin. A little crimson chin like. Let me, uh. I also think that it just the sun is reflecting because it looks better in person now, but the camera is like really picking it up. But it was like, woohoo. Um, yeah, so that's literally my face. That's it. That's all. Um, and then, like I said, we have a running theme. Elf just happens to be cruelty free. It's relatively cheap. And like, I have tried a bunch of stuff and it, it worked as well as some of the other stuff that I've had. And then just... I never realized that most of my makeup was e.l.f. until literally today, as I've told you what I've been using. Go e.l.f. Way to go. Wow. Anyway, um, I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. These are cheap as dirt. I don't even know what the colors. Oh, blonde. There you go. Um, oh, nice. There's a hair wrapped around the um, spoolie part. Love that. That's excellent. Okay. Um, I literally just come underneath the edge of my eye brow, of my eye, no, my eyebrow, and do a swifty boopty and a loopty boopty on the top ski. Yeah, on top of my brow gel. Am I crazy? Maybe. But y'all, it's a good time here. I promise. Lightly sweep some color over, bring it in. I'm not doing anything crazy, I'm not heavy handed. And then uh, I have one eyebrow that the front is definitely like better than the other, so I'm gonna brush this one. Brush it? No, I'm gonna like attempt to just fluff her upper in the front. Um, and this one will do pretty good when I put some, put some brow gel. We're not breaking a dog's today. So yeah, and then I have this e.l.f. brow gel. It's like like the, I was a benefit gimme brow stan. Um, and then I was using Cover Squirrel, but it was like $9 and I feel like I use a lot. Um, I feel like I was like buying it like very frequently because I'm gonna do two coats. <laughs> um, this is also in like blonde or taupe or whatever, kind of like the cool toned one. My roots are like pretty cool toned. Like I'm a definitely like a more cool toned kind of like dirty blonde naturally. Um, but yeah. So I try to stick with, even though my hair is teal, kind of like my natural brow color. So that way like when my roots come in, it's not 
very, it just like looks more normal. So then lastly, I'm going to use my mascara. I don't curl my eyelashes. There was something somewhere one time talking about how it was bad and pulled your eyelashes out. And I've been paranoid ever since then. And I feel like I've noticed my eyelashes have been longer and fuller since I've stopped curling them. I'm going to use this <laughs> crusty, dusty, trusty Lorac Pro palette. Um, and I just, I just like mascara. I do. We love her. We do, we do. Ooh. I don't think I said what it was. I'm using the Brooklyn and Bailey Lash Next Door mascara. I really like it. I think Amazon sells the two pack, which I'll be buying the next time. I just tried it, like, I think I bought it like a month or two ago. Um, and I actually really enjoy it. I'm skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. But the. Twins eyelashes are great, and so I was like, it's got to be good, right? Got to be. I just literally go back and forth. You know how to put on mascara. I'm just going to tell you what I would do to finish out my hair while I have you here right now. Um, because it's just about Dunsky, but um, it's almost all the way dry. And so right after this, I will... Um, go spritz it with some herbal essence just hair oil like it's just a very fine mist hair oil and then I will scrunch out the crunch and that's that and you'll see at the intro what everything looks like together I'll actually I'll probably put a clip in after this so I don't know what I'm talking about but I hope you've had fun spending some time with me even though it's been you know not anything crazy Maybe you'll learn about some products that you haven't thought to try upon my recommendation. Um, get to know me, my vibe a little bit better. That's always fun. You know, isn't it? Maybe it's not. Got my makeup case. I'm going to um, go scrunch out the crunch in this hair and I will be back with an outro and to show you what it all looks like. All done, scaronies. That's a new one. That's new words. All right, you guys. So here is the final product. My like roots right in here are still a little bit damp, but um, yeah, this is her. She's shiny. She's wavy. She's not that frizzy. We love to see it. So yeah, about two hours after I got out of the shower, now I finally, my hair is mostly mostly done um like i said it is just i would say it's like 97 percent dry and now my hair is stuck in my eyelashes and my uh my chapstick but um but yeah i hope you guys like i said enjoyed hanging out with me getting to know me a little bit better getting to see me do <laughs> this um i will say that this probably wouldn't take me two hours but i definitely was trying to get my other video situated and uploaded so I definitely sat with my hair in the hair towel closer to an hour instead of about 20 to 30 minutes like I average kind of shoot for um you would think that would help my hair dry faster not necessarily but that's fine that's okay anyway anyway I will see you guys next time I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing next but um um you'll see and so will I, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, bye!